they were like, do you want to do an I.O.? And I was like, what's an I.O.? They were like, well, you just drill into her leg. And I'm like, oh, I'll do it. Welcome back to my channel. It is Shay Michelle and I am so happy you are joining me for another video today. If you are new to this channel, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, you know, we're back for another video. But basically, um, we're back for another weekly vlog. And so just to give you guys a 10 second gist of kind of what you'll see in this vlog slash like any vlog I ever post um, will be... I'm just basically here to kind of demystify medical school and show you guys what it's really like and you know what you can expect if you do want to go into medicine or go to medical school or anything like that. This is going to be a super exciting week. I'm actually shadowing in the emergency room tomorrow. Um, we have tons of class. I've changed my study strategy so we're going to talk about that super quick and yeah it's a lot of like in-person things happening so I'm super excited to kind of like bring you guys along. It's Monday. It's 8 30 in the morning and and um, lecture started at 8 a.m. and as you can see I am sitting in my room at my desk and the reason that is happening is because I've changed my lecture strategy so basically um, right now we're in the pulmonary unit our last unit was the cardio um, system like the heart area cardiovascular and so with that one my main gist was I used third party resources and like mostly I watched like boards and beyond videos, but I'm changing up my strategy for this unit. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to watch the lectures because I felt like um, it was kind of stressful not watching lectures. My goal is to start watching lecture like 30 minutes after, after it actually starts because that'll give me like an adequate amount of time to like watch it on one and a half speed. Um, not two times speed just because I actually do want to get the information but one and a half is a good speed of like I can still write down and not have to pause it. Let's get straight into it. I'm literally just about to watch lectures. Again, as of now, I'm like 40 minutes late, but it's perfect because this is a two hour lecture. It's on pulmonary physiology and I'm going to watch it on one and a half speed. So honestly, by the time they're done, I'll also be done. Okay, so you may not be able to tell, but it's super late. Okay, it's not that late. It's like uh, 6.54 to be exact, but basically... I couldn't end a Monday without putting up groceries with Shay. Honestly, Amazon Prime needs to, sp needs to sponsor me ASAP. But I'm coming back to you guys so late because Mondays are really like the calm before the storm of the week. Right now I'm prepping for a clinical test I have tomorrow on doing the cardiovascular exam. And so it's kind of like oscillating and palpating the various like carotid arteries, the ones on your feet, all of that. But make sure you stay tuned tomorrow because Tuesdays are always my favorite days of the week, but also the most tiring because I have clinic in the morning. So in the morning I have like a little exam slash we're also learning the pulmonary exam. And then after that, we have some class. And then after that, I have, I'm shadowing in the emergency room and I'm in the recess um, is what they call kind of like where the severe cases go, the trauma cases and things like that. You know, when people are having life threatening kind of like complications and different events occur. So I will 100% bring you guys along and show you as much as I can. Like I said, Mondays are the calm before the storm and I'm excited to see you guys tomorrow. So adios. Happy Tuesday, you guys. Basically, I'm literally walking out of my building right now, but we have a jam-packed day. I'm on my way to take um, an exam, and not like an exam exam, but like a clinical exam. So all of my cardiovascular, uh, physical exam things are about to be assessed, and then I'm gonna learn the pulmonary exam. But I have my white coat in hand, I have my tea. It's gonna be a great day, and then we have some shadowing going on, some class, so make sure that you stay tuned. Okay, so we just left uh, clinical. <laughs> and we went to Chipotle, and now we're getting discounts at Chipotle. So everybody catch me at Chipotle for three times. Woo. Three times a day. Uh, okay, you guys, so I'm finally back from class. There's a lot of things happening. First, let me address the hair change. I spontaneously decided to take my braids out last night, so that's why those are gone. But today was the day. Most importantly, I got Chipotle coupons because there's a Chipotle opening right next to my apartment building. Bigger news, I already inserted a clip, or I'm gonna insert it now, but basically, 
we spent half of our four hour session eight to noon it's literally 1209 right now let me give y'all some proof um but we spent half of our session figure or during or we spent half of our session practicing pulmonary exams and so with pulmonary exams um for the most part we're just kind of like listening to breath sounds trying to figure out any tenderness any abnormal enlargements um listening to like vibrations when the person speaks, stuff like that. That was what we did 10 to noon. But from eight to 10, I was getting assessed on my cardiovascular or cardiac exam, basically, and it went so well. It's a little weird because it's the first time like we have an extra person in the room that's just like a fly on the wall. But mine, luckily, was so nice. And then as soon as I finished, she was like, oh my gosh, you did so well. You did all this stuff. Um, a cool little thing about our stethoscopes is that on this side the large side is the diaphragm rather than the small side is what we call the bell and so with the diaphragm you press hard and it's for um higher pitch sounds rather than the bell is for lower pitch sound it's in light touch you don't have to press as hard but basically when we do our cardiac exam and we're like looking into all the valves of the heart so like the pulmonic aortic bottom is like uh tricuspid mitral valves we flip because we want to look at both sides and so i'll just show you like you literally can just oh my god it's not flipping okay flip it and so my teacher or not my teacher my fly on the wall like physician that was in my room told me i was the only person that's been there all day that remembered to do both sides because we're supposed to test it out both sides but cool tidbit is like if you ever see your doctor doing this is because they probably like flip their um thing around a lot and they're probably trying to make sure that like the side that they're putting on your body is the side they can hear. It's been a pretty solid day. It's only halfway done. It's literally 12 o'clock, as you can see. So what we have for the rest of the day, let me open up the laptop and let you know. Only two and a half hours worth of lecture. This is a short day. Usually on Tuesdays, we'll go until like 5 p.m. or so. But our last class ends at 3.20, so doing pretty solid. And then... I am shadowing in the emergency department from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. And I'm so excited. This is my first time shadowing. I've honestly been avoiding it because, I don't know, I've been super nervous to shadow in there. I don't know why. But other than that, I will keep you guys updated with what is next. But it's been a great morning, so I can tell this day is only going to continue to get better. Okay, you guys, so it is officially 7 o'clock, and it is now time to go shadow in the ER. So, time to go. Y'all, I honestly don't even know where to begin with this story about the emergency room. First things first, I know you're like, what does the emergency room look like? Just like Google emergency room and I promise you that's what it looks like. The sounds, the beeps. One thing I do love um, that I saw, because again, this was my first time shadowing in there, is the diversity. The diversity in like providers, nurses, doctors, all of that. Like I was like, chefs kids for diversity grade a over here but now to the specific details about my time there okay i literally walked in i was so nervous i was borderline sweating and i just introduced myself to every physician there and mind you it was a shift change so i'm introducing myself to some physicians some of them are kind of like they're just ready to go because i can tell they're a part of the like time to go crowd and then some of them are a little nicer but they're still ready to go and i'm like i just want to introduce myself but I end up introducing myself to right ones and there's another medical student there that was an M4 there as in a fourth year medical student and so he's just there because in your fourth year you have to do like I think he told me two rotations but mind you it can be it's like you get options and so he doesn't want to go into emergency medicine so he just goes um he just chose it because he was like out of the options it was the most interesting but they're super relaxed with him because they're like well you're not even applying for this <laughs> he just kind of like does what he wants okay so one patient came in, there, well one, there was a ton of um, kind of like, uh, there was a ton of older people, well maybe not older people, but a ton of falls. Um, we had a few people who were intoxicated, a few people who got into car crashes. It was honestly a little bit of like everything, hemorrhages, a lot of diet, not a lot, but like two specific diabetic cases that had like these lasting effects. But in another case, I was actually able to work with someone who had an abscess and I was able to like um, use a scapula to cut through it. So it was really cool. Um, and yeah, they let me actually participate a little bit, which was super fun. Everyone was so nice. 
comedians. I don't know. I think emergency medicine people are just like my people. It's like the sarcasm they have and like lightheartedness. You almost have to have to be in these emergency settings. And you know, a misconception about the emergency room is like crazy people yelling and stuff. But no, the emergency room is very like in those high stress moments. It's very like calm and quiet per se because one you have to make sure every person can hear everything that's going on you know you got one person um yelling at like the scribe to or the recorder to make sure they know like okay i don't know 500 mil of this 200 mil of this pushing epi pushing this you know so and then you also have like the various physicians in the room that are also kind of saying okay we're about to intubate we're going to do this we're going to do that and then you have charge nurses there's so many people in the room so it's like one way they said to me is controlled chaos you know um it's not crazy it's not screaming because if you had that nothing would get done there would be confusion and then simultaneously while you have all of this going on let's say the firefighters came in i'm using this example because that's what happened while i was there you have firefighters coming in who are also trying to tell you everything they did and the background the hpi history of present illness all that stuff you know and so I would say now I really understand how people of these different professions really have to work together because in my like three hours again I saw firefighters, police officers, EMTs and then mind you you also have to put that on top of all the people that are already in the emergency room um like staff like nurses, doctors, um you know radiologists like just just literally everything so it really is a controlled chaos and like it was kind of cool to just see the overlaps of all the different professions because in a way the emergency room is the only time this happens 10 44 um this was a very like fulfilling emergency um room shadowing time i told them i would be back because i 100 percent will be back in like two weeks just because now that i see kind of how it goes really i am 100 percent coming back long crazy day we love tuesdays and i'm thinking about starting tiktok so we can just get quick quick snaps days in the lives um but yeah on that note i will see you guys tomorrow good morning you guys and happy wednesday we're just about halfway into our week and so this morning it's just it's approaching nine o'clock it's 8 58 to be exact but this morning has been eventful so i woke up and decided to go to the gym so i worked out from 6 to like 7 30 and then now i'm in my room and so i wanted to spend this time class started at eight o'clock but i'm just gonna watch it online later um later in the day but i wanted to take this time to prep for my lab meeting or not even lab meeting my one-on-one -on -one with the um head researcher in my lab or the person whose lab it is basically because i didn't want to get on the zoom and just not know anything so i want to show you guys what i've been doing basically i do um, my lab does like spatial research and spatial analysis and so i'm 100 percent new to this topic um i think it's kind of intriguing it's very visual and so just to give you a glimpse of like what i'm working with this is literally like kind of like the images i'm working with and so like it's like we take data it's our studio and then make these images that kind of represent it so for example we'll do this with like a tumor or something and then um represent the different like genomes and transcripts and and sequences and all of that inside of the picture and mind you I just want to preface that like what I just showed you is not our actual labs data this is just data I got from online that anyone could access so I'm sorry to tell you but you did not get the inside scoop on what's happening in the lab I took the past hour to work on that and then now I think I'm going to go to class and make sure you stay tuned because I'm actually you know we're going to show class a little bit so at 10 o'clock technically we have a health our health justice class and so we usually spend like one hour in our main auditorium with everybody and then another hour in our small groups of about 20 people and so i'm just gonna head over early today remember we get our free chipotle that'll be the highlight and then i'm having a galatine's later in the day so you're probably like shannon when are you doing your studying what's going on let me tell you guys this is literally the first week of this module and so in the first week, depending on the pace of everything, I think my goal this week has kind of been, in all honesty, to just like figure out a routine when it came to like working out and cooking and studying and like waking up. Um, so I will 100% say my like main focus has not been to like, you know, do flashcards and stuff like I usually do. Um, but don't get me wrong i have 100 percent been keeping up with lectures i watch them the day they happen and i take my notes it's just a matter of like i haven't spent 
a ton of dedicated time reviewing those notes. And I also wanted to add in another 30 second snippet about yesterday. Um, yesterday, you guys, at the um, emergency room shadowing, it was so much fun. And so it was kind of crazy because they would ask me little questions. They'd be like, oh, do you know about this? Do you know about this? And it's like, I fully know about it, but on the spot, I'm like nervous and I'm like, uh, I don't know, like, this is the worst part. The, um, one of the physicians was like, oh, do you know what insulin does? And I, I don't know why I completely blinked. A normal person knows what insulin does. And so I was like, don't tell me I know. He's like, no, 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 I'm not testing you. And I'm like, no, I promise you I know what insulin does. I just can't think of it. It's so different to learn something in a classroom than to learn something like in the field when you're like out there. And in a way, I feel like learning it in these settings is so much more valuable and like easier to remember because you're actually learning it as you're applying it. Rather than I feel like when I learn in the classroom, I'm just like applying it to a sheet of paper and a test and then like, okay, next subject. The one good thing about being a first year medical student is they always give you the pass of like, oh, they don't know anything. So I just have been holding on to that. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. For anybody, nervous about shadowing I say shadow as early as possible because you always can go under the disguise of like being new and not knowing anything that's my tidbit but other than that it's time to go to class um and I will see you guys there everything is happening super quick but I got my Chipotle and I'm about to eat for like five minutes and try to make the meeting with my researcher all in time so let's see how that goes it's literally 12 15 so you updated i don't know why but life just got super fast paced out of nowhere just to recap what's happened the last few hours it's 2 45 i got my free chipotle and i my fork just fell in my bag but more of the story is that I got my Chipotle, I went to my meeting with my uh, head researcher, and it was absolutely amazing because I finally have a clue of like it, what exactly the lab does and how I can contribute as a student. And in addition, I'll insert a clip, but we had our health justice class, and so everybody's in there. I kind of had to just slide the phone up so you guys can get a glimpse, but just a normal lecture hall, and then we went into our small groups. It's 2.45 for the rest of the day. In all honesty, I'm probably gonna take a nap because I'm borderline exhausted. As soon as I wake up from my nap, I'm gonna get another free bowl at Chipotle, and then I'm going to go, at my, go to my Galentine's, so I will see all of you guys there. The cat destroyed my Hawaiian rolls. <laughs> Happy Thursday, you guys. Today is a jam-packed day, and basically you're gonna see everything that I do when I'm not in class. Um, because we're starting off with me going to work with my trainer. And so, when I say trainer, this is not a fitness trainer. But basically I'm a part of um, an organization that works with the street medicine team, and we try to provide you know, services to anybody experiencing long-term homelessness. So, you know, as a medical student, I can't necessarily provide like professional medical services. But what I can do is I can like help with making doctor's appointments you know um, if they've just been recently housed you know with another organization in some type of hotel or anything we can help kind of like give advice on like how to keep you know the apartment clean you know routinely washing your sheets and things like that just because you know different people have had different experiences and ultimately we're just here to kind of help however we need and that looks different for every person but absolutely love the organization I love the opportunity so it is currently 8 18 and at 8 30 me and a group of students are going out with the street medicine team to um, go see our trainers and trainers are people that are in close contact with the actual street medicine team that is filled up physicians and nurses and things like that and basically um we're going out with them to meet my trainer which is someone who is experiencing homelessness as a part of our program and that you know wants our assistance and is open to it and basically we're going to meet, the, meet him and we're just going to do what we can obviously i can't necessarily you know just bring the camera everywhere but i will try to show you guys as much as possible responsibly and appropriately um but yeah that's our morning and then this afternoon honestly full is full of like catching up with people and so that'll be an interesting one. I literally have three different lunch, dinner, and happy hours. So 
we'll do that but basically outside of school it's kind of like you got to make sure you connect with your friends because in med school it's very 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 easy to like just get lost in the books and then all of a sudden it's been months since you've talked to so many people that you care about that's the gist so let's get started it's almost four o'clock right now and basically i honestly was talking to my friend for the last three hours but we talked on our terrace and in our apartment building at five o'clock i'm going out to dinner with another another one of my friends this day has really consisted of catching up with all of the people i feel like i love but have just not you know been able to find the time to see and then after that i have a happy hour it'll be my first professional happy hour and so it's with physicians residents medical students fellows it's for the whole nine yards of like black kind of like healthcare people here at Keck and so I'm actually kind of excited I have no idea what to wear next stop that I'll have it's dedicated portion in this vlog will be my happy hour and I will see you guys there <laughs> actually coming to you guys at 10 38 at night because i wanted to make sure that i did this video before all of my thoughts left my mind for the night i'm coming here to say that i just left the happy hour with other physicians and it was great i was able to talk to the new director of the emergency medicine residency um who was extremely nice and extremely welcoming so we'll see where that leads me and I able to connect with a whole lot of fourth year medical students which was super cool because they can kind of like literally tell us our future and kind of the flow of things and what res or what the process will be for the next three years honestly um but i also realized that i never really talked about um, my trojan trainer this morning and so i wanted to come on here just to say i had a great time this morning we were with our trainer from we left here at 8 30 so we were with him from 9 to about 10 30 ish 11 o'clock so longer than usual we do usually plan for it to be um only like an hour ish um but it was definitely necessary um so we were able to meet with someone on the street medicine team so it was three of us who um are working on the same team plus a physician from the street medicine team plus someone who was also assigned to the same trainer as us the year before so it was almost like a transition meeting and also a simultaneous kind of like check-in with the actual street medicine team because just um a lot of people haven't been able to get a hold of him but it was absolutely amazing he's such an amazing person and so nice and humble and sweet and opening and welcoming and i'm honestly so excited and so looking forward to kind of what this obviously the entire year of 2022 is going to look like working with him and today was like honestly such an amazing day in all honesty, I didn't really do much academic. I did look at my emails for about 20 minutes because there were a few emails I was trying to neglect. But besides that, I honestly did a ton of things that, you know, weren't necessarily in the books, but I feel like they were life experiences that are extremely invaluable. Stay tuned. Thursday is officially a wrap and I'm super excited to end this vlog strong and see what tomorrow brings us happy friday you guys of course i'm back in the car it has been a crazy week um that you guys have been with me but basically today i'm just running all of my errands i have orders to take back i'm waiting for a target drive up to come and give me some items i ordered online and yeah it's a chill chill friday and so in all honesty you kind of saw how the last few days i've been doing a lot of the things outside of the books that i really really am interested in so this weekend will be all about the books thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and then bring in my target order okay so bye <laughs> me and my friend just ended up going to chipotle and i was like no one wants to see chipotle so i didn't record chipotle